Okay, so we're going to show you how to build a vacuum pump from a disposable syringe. We developed this design to help low-income farmers in the tropics store their vegetable seeds um, because they often don't have options like heavy-duty vacuum sealers or refrigeration that are the commercial standards for storing seeds long-term. So instead of a $500 to $1,000 solution or more, we here have a $1 solution. Okay, so first we need um, a 60 milliliter syringe. We need some pieces of inner tube, some electrical tape, a glass bottle, hacksaw, and scissors. Okay, so we start with a 60 milliliter syringe and we cut off the tip with a hacksaw. Next, we're gonna want to cut off those plastic burrs. So we use a metal file to do that to make sure it's nice and smooth. As you can see, we're using a piece of wood for a square here. We use a thumbtack to poke a small hole. That's going to be our exhaust valve. Cut a small piece of inner tube, bike inner tube, motorcycle inner tube works. Small square, and we're going to put that right over the thumbtack hole, and that's going to be our exhaust valve. We're going to use some electrical tape to hold that on. So we take our small circle of inner tube, put it right on top of the glass bottle, tape it on with electrical tape. Usually it takes two pieces on top and a plus sign, then one wrapping around to hold it on nice and tight, but that still leaves a little bit of space for air to escape. Then we use another piece of inner tube as a gasket to seal the syringe pump onto the neck of the bottle as we're pumping. And for this one, it only took nine strokes and then pulling the plunger all the way out at the end like this to get 22 inches of mercury pressure. You can check the top of the seal to see that it's depressed. That shows that there's vacuum inside. And then if you're getting really experimental, you can use a hypodermic needle attached to a vacuum gauge and you can test to see what pressure you got.